Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today is the finally very anticipated RV tour. I'm so excited. As you know, I started this renovation of the RV probably like four or five months ago. We actually were somewhat living in it at the time, going between my parents and Airbnbs. And I decided to go on a crazy adventure and start renovating it, and it is finally officially done, which means I get to take you guys in and show you everything about it. If you guys missed any of my renovation vlogs, I have an entire playlist, so I'll make sure to link that down below and in the iCard up above. Go check it out because we showed all kinds of fun stuff and how we renovated this RV. I am so excited, so let's go ahead and get started. Hello. Welcome to our 30 foot North Trail Heartland trailer. And let's go ahead and get started with our RV tour. So as you can see right off the bat, we changed up the wall color to white, which has made this room, this RV look way bigger, brighter. It feels more roomy. And so I'm so happy that we went with white, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with the kitchen. And oh my gosh. It is so, so pretty. Okay, so this is kind of our kitchen area over here. So we went ahead and switched out the backsplash in the kitchen area with this Tic Tac kind of sticky tile. So far, it's holding up really well. It looks so pretty. It's easy to wipe clean if food gets on it. And you can see right off the bat, a lot of our hardware we've switched to black. So we now have a, you know, a spot to put our um, paper towels. We have black knobs, black hinges, and everything else in here was kind of already black as far as the microwave, the range hood, and the oven. So that was like super fun and easy to just work with. And then we've got the fridge, which I think got a total makeover, and I love how it turned out because not only was this already black, so that's easy, but the panels on the fridge actually just slide right out, which is something I learned. At first I tried to paint the panels and it did not turn out. And so I grabbed, um, this is actually a whiteboard from Home Depot that we just cut to size and then we're able to slid right through. So now we can use that for like writing little notes to each other on it or we can put like our list of what we need to get for the RV. And so I absolutely love it. And I love that I can actually pull out the slide, clean it if I need to, and then I can even turn it around and it's a chalkboard on the other side, which I think is pretty cool. But the overall, the kitchen is really nice. It stores all of our, it's a little bit messy right now, but this is all of our dishes are up here with plates and cups and all of that. We've got um, our drawers, which also have black knobs on them. And this is all of our silverware, all of our paper towels and other utensils we need for cooking and then like baggies and foil and stuff like that. This kitchen, although it feels small, it fits everything. This is like basically like all of our Tupperware and cutting boards, stuff like that. And then there's even a little drawer down here that has all of our pots and pans. Let's go ahead and move over to the island. Oh my gosh. This was probably the one of the last things we finished in the RV because it was kind of something I was like nervous about. I thought about it for months how I was gonna do this. So what we went ahead and did is we painted the countertop and then we poured resin on it and it's self leveling. So it actually took a couple days to level out to be perfectly flat and it turned out so nice. I'm obsessed. I love how clean it is. I love how bright it is. And I love that it feels like a countertop. I, I didn't have to, you know, replace it with another, a whole nother countertop and I didn't have to use like, what's it called, like contact paper and stuff. So, um, and as you can see here, we also switched out the um, faucet with a black faucet and I just think it makes the entire RV look like luxurious and just so pretty. Overall, I will say almost all of these items I got off Amazon. So I'm gonna try to make a little wish list or like a shopping list of everything I got and you guys can check it out and uh, get it for your own RV. Okay, so let's go ahead and look straight up. I actually added these two pendant lights. Before, it was kind of like a light that was stuck to the ceiling. It was kind of like a wood look. It looked very like 80s in my opinion, and so I added these pendant lights. They give off just the same amount of light, and I think they look super pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to probably my favorite wall. <laughs> this is my lemon wall. This was like a last minute purchase. Me and Brian were at Target, and we were like, we should do some wallpaper in the, in the RV. We went with the lemon wallpaper, and I think it totally adds a pop of color. I think it looks so pretty, and I love that I can switch it out with something else if I ever wanted to. And then we went ahead 
ahead and added this cute mirror which I love because now I can kind of just like have an extra mirror in the RV it's just kind of like that boho style feel I love it I just think it looks so great this is our pantry which I love this pantry it was something I really wanted when we were picking out the RV plenty of storage for all of our food and our snacks and our drinks um, and then oh we've got more drinks down here um, more storage snacks we switched out the hardware for the black doorknobs as well and then we've got the boys bunk beds the bunk beds are pretty much the same this was so hard to paint though I'll tell you I was in here sweating in the middle of summer trying to paint these like ceilings and all the way around it but it turned out so great and I actually think that it looks less like a cave um, the boys were tending to get a little bit claustrophobic in there and now it just feels a lot more bright and 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 roomier with the white and then we actually um, replaced this sort of wood with a it's kind of like a faux beam you'll see it in a couple other areas in the RV I think it makes it look rich and so pretty and then as you can see we're gonna start to see a little bit of other color in the RV this is a dark gray color and I think it just adds a little bit of warmth to the white in the RV itself and so that's also how we tied in this door as well so we went with the gray for the bathroom door and then black knobs let's go ahead and check out the bathroom Let's go ahead and start with the sink. I went ahead and I did a contact paper on the sink and then we replaced the faucet with sort of a black faucet here. We've added some greenery and then we've got the same kind of backsplash we did in the kitchen. It is again sticking on pretty well, staying on and I think it turned out really nice. And then you see our medicine cabinet. I love this medicine cabinet because it is way bigger than um, our last one. It has extra shelving. I can fit stuff on top. It's got a nice big mirror so we can see ourselves really well when we're getting ready. So overall I feel like we made this space a little bit more useful. And then we've got the shower curtain which I I love I just love all those darker colors when you've got a lot of white going on in here we replaced the backsplash with a white backsplash and we went ahead and changed out the, the shower for a whiter one as well and I added in a little bit more um, shelving which is so nice I love this I love how this turned out and that's the shower all right let's go ahead and go to the next room okay now let's move to the dinette oh my gosh i love how this turned out me and my dad actually did this together and we went back and forth on how we wanted to do it we had full plans to like do a couple benches and do a, a table that goes up and down and we settled on something like this this is from home depot this is actually kind of like a cutting board or a countertop that you can use we cut this to size for our dinette and then we added on these legs that we actually got from amazon on. and then we just stuck it right to it and oh my gosh I love it I am like obsessed with this table I think it just adds again that warmth to the RV it's comfortable it's easy to clean I actually stained it and I put like a nice smooth top on it so it's easy to wipe down this did eliminate some sleeping but we weren't really using it anyways and I really like this a lot better then <laughs> our next dilemma was how are we going to make benches like we have to build benches from scratch and so Brian had the small Smart idea, don't build benches, stop wasting your time on that. Let me just buy you a bench with storage. And this was a lifesaver. It took a while to find one that fits the size, but check it out. It opens up, it's comfortable, it's got our games in it, it's got extra blankets. I can actually use this for clothes if the boys need more space for, you know, their bathing suits and extra things. So this was awesome. I'm so thankful for Brian. <laughs> we actually grabbed a couple of these chairs. This is just nice, they easily move. We can use this actually if we wanna like watch more seating for watching TV. So glad we didn't do it building the whole dinette benches. It's a little bit more flexible for us. So before we move on to the couch, we're gonna take a look at these beams up here. Oh my gosh, I love how these turned out. This was one of the first things I ripped out was the beams that came with the RV. They're like faux beams. They just were so old style, like a very like had all those ridges in it. And I just wanted something that was like square and obviously kind of brought that same warmth that I keep talking about. And so we just got this nice smooth pine from Home Depot. I stained it kind of that rich color. We went back and forth on what we wanted this to be stained, but it's sort of like that rich brown. So we did that on the beam over here, and then you'll see the beam on the kitchen side is the same. Obviously, that is exactly what you see matching on the boys' bunk beds. And I think it definitely adds that 
that warmth there's a lot of areas that you add that warmth in because everything is so white and bright you want to bring in a little bit of warmth just to kind of add that homey feel now let's move to the couch <laughs> i love this couch i think this couch just makes the whole entire RV. I spent hours looking for the perfect couch for us because we still wanted to be able to have that extra space for sleep, but we wanted it to be stylish. We went ahead and removed the old one. It wasn't the style we were looking for and it was pretty much on its last leg, but this thing is awesome. So not only does it have plenty of seating for us, I can actually pull this down so we have cup holders for drinks. I also love how lightweight it is, which is a big thing when you're renovating RVs. You really don't want to be adding on any weight to an RV for a lot of safety reasons and so this one is super light it's super easy to move so I can actually move it out of the way if we want to watch TV and position it a little bit differently and then it even lays all the way down because it's a futon so the boys can sleep on this if they want it or if they have friends over they can sleep on it too and then I even love the fact that the bottom is actually empty so we can store shoes under here we can have bins under here if we need it we can put extra blankets overall I'm super happy with this purchase and again I'm gonna link all of this stuff because I got most of this on Amazon for a really awesome price so if there's anything you guys are interested in make sure you check that description so up top we have a little bit of storage I actually use this for like our dogs storage area for laundry and a little bit of extra games and then kind of like knick-knacky things like sunscreen, bug spray, stuff like that. This is something that I am super excited about. So I switched out all of the cupboards that had glass on them with this sort of like a bamboo texture. Again, I got these, these are placemats on Amazon. I just like cut them to size and I put them in the cabinet door. Kind of did a little bit of caulking all the way around it and I think it looks so pretty. I think it really gives that like bohemian style to it. Okay, so now let's talk about window treatment. I ripped out the old stuff so fast, <laughs> I did not like it at all. What we did is I actually went on to select blinds. I measured out nine windows. That is how many windows are in this RV. Some are like super tiny too, and some are really big like this one. So I just went ahead and went with the pull down shades. I like that I did black. It actually blocks a lot of the heat. I can feel so much heat behind here. And I think it kind of ties in a lot of those black features that we have in the RV. And then um, I can just pull it up if I need more light and pull it down if I need want to block out light. When I pull down all these shades, it makes the RV dark. And so I really, really like that if we want to like take a nap during the day or just kind of cool down the RV, we can pull all these down all these down and it helps a lot okay so now for the entertainment center I actually asked you guys on Instagram like what you guys were most excited to see and a lot of people said the picture yes yeah, so this is actually a sticker that I ordered online I just ordered it to the exact size that I wanted it it's stuck on and it's so cute I think it adds that personal touch to the RV for sure and we've got our like bamboo cabinets up here with more storage and then down here we actually often put our ps5 in here so the boys can like play video games and watch even more TV and obviously if you didn't see our RV tour in the in the first place this was one of my favorite features of the RV we can have a family photo um, during the day and then at night when we want to watch a family movie we can flip it over to the TV and then of course we can use this in the master bedroom as well when we want to watch TV in the master bedroom just flip it back over. I love this feature. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's move to the master bedroom. Whew. So, master bedroom. I love that we did all white. We had talked about some different backsplashes on the back, but I'm really happy we went with white. We went ahead and replaced the lights up here. Super easy. Click on and off for reading at night. These are actually adjustable too, so we can move them up and down. And then again, those matching cabinets up here with our cute little deer. I made sure to make this, make sure this was extra sticky to the wall because I didn't want it falling on us at night. But yeah, this is the master bedroom. So we have black contact paper on the nightstand, which I love. And then we've got white next to it. Overall, <laughs> I think the uh, master bedroom turned out really really nice the bed is so comfortable we have like extra cushion on it and extra soft blankets and it's just like so cozy in here
That is basically the entire RV. What do you guys think? I'm like so proud of it. Me and my dad did a lot of the work. Brian helped out a ton. Even the boys helped out a ton. If you guys missed um, the renovation vlogs, we have a whole playlist that you guys can check out and watch everything we did with the RV, all those little details. This is basically just the finished product and I'm super, super proud of it. I think it turned out so pretty and I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Overall, I know a lot of people ask me like, would you ever do this again? Is this something that you're like really into? I don't know if I would do it again <laughs> unless I had like a really like open space, maybe like my own garage to really store it and do a lot of that work. It would have saved me a lot of time. I love doing projects like this, especially just for like making memories with my family, you know, just kind of like learning things. I learned a lot in the process. I learned that nothing is that easy. You think you can just switch something out real fast. There's always an extra step that you forgot about. I definitely learned a lot, but it was a lot of fun. Anyways, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!